Hello friend! In this video, I wanted to share a really simple tutorial for creating beautiful, loose painted florals. And I'm also going to show you how to take this style and create your own hand painted gift bags. If you are ready to get creative, then let's get right into this video. To start, I am using watercolor paper, and while I definitely use this technique with watercolors quite often, for this video, I'm going to be doing this tutorial using gouache. But to start, I'm going to show you just how to create a very simple rose. This rose is really created by just a series of these little strokes. So I start with two small little half moon shapes um, and I face them towards each other. And then I just simply continue to wrap petals around the flower until it looks complete. I'm applying pressure with my paintbrush in the center part of the stroke, but this is very forgiving. I actually really like the look um, when the petals kind of touch together and kind of blend their colors together. I think that's really pretty. So you definitely don't have to like make sure that you don't touch the other petals. Um, it all just creates a really beautiful loose type of floral. And I think that this is a really good place to start if you are a beginner when it comes to um, watercolor or painting in general. Now there is a section in the top part of this stroke where you can kind of see that it looks a little bit kind of frayed towards the edge and that's simply when I just don't have enough paint or water um, on my brush. So I can kind of go back and add a little bit of water to smooth that out. But if you are struggling with that a lot, um, make sure that you have a brush that is going to hold your water well. This brush that I'm using does hold water really, really well. And when I have used more narrow brushes, I've struggled a little bit more with those edges. So for that reason, I do really like this paintbrush. And at the bottom, I'm showing you an example of how to do kind of a sideways flower. You can do this by kind of starting it the same way, but then just doing your petals so that they both open to the side. Now I'm right-handed, so I almost always do my flowers open to the left side of the page. It's just a little bit easier for me to draw those strokes that way, but I tested it out going the other way for you as well. Um, you definitely don't have to only do it one way, but that's just how I tend to make mine, probably because I'm right-handed. As you can see, there are a few areas where I couldn't really fit flowers, but that kind of left blank holes in the page. And that is where leaves come in. I love painting leaves and I could just fill up pages of painting leaves. I think that they're just a really relaxing thing to paint. They're very simple and you can paint them straight. You can paint them kind of like they're blowing in the wind. There are a lot of different variations. You can paint them longer, you can paint them smaller. I just really like practicing leaves when I am needing some creative time and I just kind of want to relax and paint. So this is how I make my leaves and it's so simple. And again, you can add your own variation to this, whether you make them longer or shorter or wider or different colors, whatever that may be. But I simply draw a line and then I flatten my brush a little bit to thicken that to one side. And then I'll go back and add another color on the other side. Leaves are a great way to add some balance to those florals because like I said, there were a few spots where there wasn't enough space to add another rose, but it also looked a little bit empty. Another option you could do is do like a smaller floral in a different color, but for this one, I am just going to use simple leaves. You definitely don't have to leave the inside of the leaf um, blank like I am. Sometimes I leave it blank and sometimes I don't and I like it both ways. So it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling when I'm painting. Totally up to you though. But don't stress at all if your watercolor fills in all the way and there is no white space in your leaves. So I'm just kind of going through to finish off the painting, adding leaves where there may be some blank space. Some of these got a little squished, but that's okay. It is not about being perfect. It is just about being creative. So now we're going to take these two simple elements of our painting and use them to decorate a plain gift bag. 
I'm going to show you one with a white background and then I'll show you one with a craft brown paper bag as well. So I'm starting with that one flower open to the side, just really simple, um, just a few petals, and then I'm adding another bigger rose next to it. Sometimes my roses get a little bit large, sometimes I keep them a little bit smaller, but I just kind of go until they look balanced. And then I'm going to take that simple leaves technique and add two leaves to the top and two leaves to the bottom. I think this just really balances out this type of painting on this gift bag. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were pretty inexpensive and I got a whole pack of them. Now because I'm using gouache, I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer to this one. Um, it's not totally dry. In a perfect world, I would have had more patience and let it completely dry, but it was kind of like one of those things that I just decided to try and I really ended up liking how it looked and I actually really loved the way this ended up looking with a little bit of texture. If you follow me over on Instagram, you may have seen how much I love making up cute gift baskets and customized packaging. I just think it's so fun to add a personal touch and especially when you can do it affordably like this project, it just makes it extra special. You could also hand letter the names onto the bags or even better, a gift tag so that the bag could be reused. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more painting tutorials or really what kind of tutorials that you would like to see over on this channel. I have been sharing hand lettering tutorials for four years now and I would love to hear what would be helpful for you. I know that we are all creative people in our own way and there are lots of different ways to be creative, but I would love to hear what types of things you would like to learn or see on this channel. So if you have a minute, head to the comments and let me know what types of things you would like to see from this channel and I would be so grateful. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.